Hey, what's up guys? Well, it is a fantastic day for those owners of an iPhone 5S, iPhone 6, 6 Plus, the iPad Air, and of course the iPod Touch 6 generation. The jailbreak is now out. It now supports your devices on iOS 11 all the way up to iOS 12.1.2. Now, if you guys missed this news, we actually have a dedicated tutorial video on exactly how to jailbreak, but now in this video, I'm going to show you some of my favorite tweaks some of the very first ones that I think you guys should install and these tweaks are aimed at these older generation devices that might be just a little bit slower and sluggish so most of them are aimed to speed up as well as make your device look pretty sweet and uh, basically just quality of life tweaks now these are some of the first ones I think you guys should install and I hope you do enjoy them that being said just so we can go through this video pretty quickly I'm gonna go ahead and use my iPhone 10 to demonstrate these tweaks Granted, all the ones that I'm talking about in this quick video, they all entirely run and work perfectly fine on the iPhone 5S. And I'm sure many of them are supported for the iPads as well. All right, well, let's go ahead and get directly into things. I'm gonna go ahead and pop open my home screen. Now, as you guys can already see, we have a lot going on here and we'll get into all of this in today's video, but let's start out with the basics. Now, before we get too far in this video, I just wanted to let everyone know that all of the sources for all of the tweaks we're talking about in today's video are located down below in this video's description on the Best Tech Info article. Again, you will find all of the sources needed to install these tweaks as well as the full tweak list there. So with a brand new jailbreak out, one of the very first tweaks that I like to install is called Swipe for More. Now this, when you go into actually installing tweaks, this lets you queue up tweaks super quickly and lets you install multiple at the exact same time. Or in contrast, you can actually queue up these tweaks to actually delete them all at once as well. You can see how quickly they're added to your queue. So you can quickly install and uninstall tweaks as well. Now, next up, we have this tweak called Flame. And this one is one of my personal favorites. It allows you to batch add sources. So as you guys can see, I can click batch mode right here. Now, any sources that are currently in my iPhone's clipboard, it will automatically be added to my sources list. At the same time, as you guys can see, I have a ton of sources already installed on my iPhone 10. If I wanted to quickly export this list and send it over to my iPhone 5S, I can go to installed and here in the top left right here, I can quickly export my tweak and source list. Another great feature of Flame. And Flame's really cool because you can do some minor UI changes as well, like changing this blue highlight accent as well as the top to red or any color you want. So Flame is just a great tweak to have. All right, well, aiming at older device users like the iPhone 5S and iPhone 6 that have an older processor, another great tweak is called Animations Be Fast. Now, this basically just speeds up all of the iPhone's animations from turning on your device, from going to the home screen, and it just makes it feel really fast. Even on this iPhone 10 right here, it's a lot faster than what it normally would be. And within the tweak settings as well, you can customize all of these speeds individually. So that is just a great one to make your device feel super speedy. Now, while we're on the home screen, how I got this three by eight column layout, if you guys wanna change your icon layouts, basically one of my favorite tweaks is called Boxy 3. This lets you choose a custom layout and then when you double tap on the home screen, you can actually adjust uh, this icon padding as well. Um, so you can make your icons exactly how you want them on your device. I really like I really like this 3xx layout on smaller devices. I mean, even the iPhone 10, that one's a pretty big device. Um, but especially for the iPhone 5S's screen size, instead of four icons, I really like to have three. Anyway, that one's called Boxy 3. Let's move on. So while I have this custom layout going on, I also have a few more things as well. I have Snowboard to give my icons this custom theme. And like 90% of my videos out there, the theme that I'm using and sticking with is called Lotus. I also have this tweak called Clean Home Screen to basically clean up my home screen and get rid of icon labels, page dots, and things like that. So that's a great one to have handy as well. Looks super sweet getting rid of all that clutter on your home screen. All right, well, moving on to a little bit more customization. One of my favorite ones, again, is called Noctis 12. Now, this basically just brings a dark mode to your iPhone. So things like the Settings app, like I was showing you, and pretty much all of your third-party apps as well can take advantage of dark mode on iOS 12. And we actually have a separate video dedicated just to that if you guys wanna see some more dark mode tweaks. 
But as you guys can see, my dock is even dark. It looks absolutely awesome. And again, this is floating dock going on down here. This also works on the iPhone 5S and iPhone 6 as well. Basically brings the iPad dock two iPhones, another great tweak to have handy. Really the biggest area I could see for improvement on iOS 12 is within the control center. This tweak right here is called Better CCXI and it basically brings this awesome control center to your device. So you have this awesome music widget, this really condensed uh, toggle widget at the top. You have a nice weather going on. And then another one right here that I really wanted to show you guys is called Power Module. Now, one of my favorite things to get on your device right after you jailbreak is a very quick way to respring. And so you have a respring option right there, and this is actually one in the top left right there without even going into the platter itself. But as you guys can see, you can enter safe mode, reboot, power down, lock screen, clear UI cache. So a great tweak to have right there that works directly with better CCXI. All right, let's go back to the home screen. So one of the most annoying things that Apple still has yet to change is the volume HUD. Really, there are a lot of alternatives to fix this problem as well. My favorite is called Meliore. It adds this volume HUD to your device. And again, this works on the iPhone 6, like I've been saying throughout this video, but it basically just replaces the stock volume HUD. So I thought that was one that you guys might want to be aware of right after jailbreaking. It's one of those necessary fixes, in my opinion, and one of the first and coolest things you can do with your device. So a really cool new one that I really like is called Pencil Charging Indicator. So when you guys actually plug in your device, you get this little pencil charging indicator right at the top. And this mimics the design of when you connect your Apple Pencil to your iPad. So that one's just a minor one, not really a necessity, but I love the way it looks and it's brand new. So I thought I would share it with you guys. All right. Well, let's go ahead and talk about two notification tweaks that I really think you guys should check out. So the first one is called Notification, and it does that at the top when you receive a notification. That one, I think, looks absolutely incredible. But again, this tweak also comes with a ton of extra stuff. Let's actually go into the settings app, not the camera. So if I scroll down and go to the tweak setting, go to Notification, and if you go to Animation, you can actually change a bunch of stuff. So these ones right here are actually set up for the iPhone 6, 6 Plus, iPhone 5S, um, but they look absolutely incredible. Um, and these are not the only ones, they have other animations as well. So that's an all around great tweak to have to customize your notifications. All right, and so for the very last tweak that I wanted to share with you guys, and this one was actually just recently updated for iOS 12. This one is kind of notification based. If I go to my notification center, as you guys can see, all of my notifications are color categorized by the app's default color. And this one is called Color Banners 2. And I think that one just looks absolutely fantastic with the iOS 12 stacked notifications. And it seems to be working perfectly fine. Anyway, guys, that one is called Color Banners 2. And it's going to conclude this video of the top tweaks that I think you guys should take a look at directly directly after jailbreaking your iPhone 5S, your iPhone 6, your iPhone 6 Plus, or any A7 or A8 device. Anyway guys, thank you so much for taking a look at my top tweaks list. Now that these devices are covered and they have beta support with the uncovered jailbreak, the only thing left that Pwn has to do and what he's going to focus all of his efforts on is what has me most excited. A12 support, guys. Here we go. We are almost there. We are almost ready to have a jailbreak for the iPhone XS Max, the iPhone XR, and of course the iPhone XS. And hopefully the iPad Pros, the 2018 ones with the A12X processors as well. I can't wait to jailbreak these devices, guys. And if you guys want to stay updated when these are released, definitely subscribe to the channel. Anyway, guys, if you don't have time to watch a video every single week, we actually have a website site which has a jailbreak status checker for A12 devices. So I would highly suggest to bookmark that page so you guys will be notified the second the jailbreak is released and updated for these devices. Anyway, that is the major things I wanted to cover in this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Definitely like, comment, and subscribe before you head out. But until next time guys, this is Tony signing out.